X, BBC journalist Andrew Neil has issued a Scottish independence warning and claimed the union is probably in more jeopardy following Queen Elizabeth II's death. Andrew Neil, 73, suggested it might be harder to keep the four nations of the United Kingdom together following Queen Elizabeth II's death yesterday. Her Majesty passed away peacefully at Balmoral on Thursday afternoon at the age of 96. Members of the royal family rushed to the Scottish Highlands to say farewell to Britain's longest serving monarch. However, the late Queen's death has raised concerns about the State of the Union. Writing for Mail Plus, Mr. Neil said, In a long lifetime of achievements, I would single out two in particular her symbolic role in keeping the four nations of the United Kingdom together when so much was conspiring to tear it apart, and her essential role in transforming the empire into the Commonwealth. He continued, the Scottish nationalists were never sure how to handle the Queen in their bid to break up the Union. They eventually affected to ditch their republicanism and settled on giving her the title Queen of Scots, implying that she would remain Scotland's head of state even after independence. Anybody who knew the rabidly Republican SNP realized this was just a subterfuge to get through the 2014 independence referendum and that, if Scotland did vote to separate, the Queen would not long remain head of state north of the border. The nationalists will never forgive her for warning just before the 2014 vote that people should think very carefully before casting their ballots. The Scots did think very carefully and voted to remain in the Union. The Queen is more Scottish than English. It is fitting that she has died in her beloved Balmoral. It is concerning that the Union is probably in more jeopardy now she is gone. King Charles will love Scotland just as much as the Queen, but he simply doesn't have her authority. Recent opinion polls suggest an independence referendum is too close to call. A panel-based survey conducted by the Sunday Times gave the No campaign a two-point lead over the separatists. Support for the firm north of the border is also noticeably lower than in other parts of the United Kingdom. A. YouGov poll published this May found three, in. Four Scots think the Queen did a good job in her role. In comparison, 84% of people in the UK as a whole did a good job. However, a separate survey conducted by British Future found more than a third of Scots said the end of the Queen's reign would be the right time to abolish the monarchy and become a republic. One in four Brits said the end of the Queen's reign would be the right time to abolish the monarchy and become a republic overall.